and modern sports fan. First of all, this is not a gay hat. This is my remembrance of the promise from God never to destroy all life on earth again. It's a rainbow in the sky. It's a God covenant. How dare it be desecrated as something else. And secondly, uh, I have to eat. I am a wolf. I have strong predation in me, but everyone, no matter who you are, were created by God from the predator in the area in which you are made. And that's it. And it's nothing else. And God is time. So let's get on with this one. I uh, caught an eel the other day and I went down there and I clubbed it once, twice, three times. Maybe my accuracy is not the best, but today I caught him back. And I can only do this because he, he's a little bit, you know, he suffered a few blows. Uh, there he is. Lo and behold. My bait over there is he, 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 semi-dried. It's from the brim. And there's my rod. I've tied him up there even so. But, you know, he, he's a big eel and I'm going to eat him because I need his, uh, what he's got. You, you can see there where I hit him, look on the side so like you know you'd probably be all right but fact is you know i, I gotta eat that guy because i want the omega-3 oils i watched dr berg and a, dr berg says stay near the coast for selenium and omega-3 oils i got both neither of them selenium and omega-3 oils this guy right <laughs> i must admit he's not two meters long but he seemed that when he's when i was in the water with him but um that guy today Right, I, I, I can make many things out of him, and eels are just like solid meat. And then he is well, what's left of him. I, I go back and fish again with that and catch more. It's like a never ending cycle. And you know, people will say, Oh, if you didn't have the fishing line, you didn't have a fishing. But look, bugger off. You people live in a house and drive cars, put pollution everywhere. I, I ride an electric bike and I live in the bush in a tent. So phase that into your factors before you factor in anything to me. And, and then my cousins, they're all world climate change leaders flying over the world in 747. Well, a lot of nonsense. Why don't you paddle there in the boat? <laughs> Look, there's no climate change from CO2. Sagittarius A has detonated itself. And they know that because the critical spin is 99.06% towards that so you know, how many how long has it got to go 200 friggin years like Nostradamus said 2244 Nostradamus said and I stand with Nostradamus in that he's coming through to our solar system in the cone it's the archer it's pointed at earth the gods told us all this when they created us bang it's coming through it's going to take out the central cone of the solar system which will include earth and on the outside of that, there's Mars, lo and behold. And who's breaking their necks to get to Mars? Because they know what's coming. And that's all i got to say about the matter, right? And I'm tired of being run down in the ground and everything I do just because I know it. So, yeah, bugger off on that one. Anyway, i got this guy. And I'm going to dispatch him. I love him. And I thank, praise God. And if, if I had a little less knowledge, I'd, I'd supremely believe that uh, uh, he, this is part of life and rejuvenation, which I do. And all these people, right? You've got these people that say, oh, how terrible. They are the most vicious fucking assholes ever put on the earth. And, and then these people with these pug dogs. Genetically alter those dogs so their eyes aren't popping out of their heads so that they can breathe. And be done with it. Because I tell you this. If I was a pug dog. Which I kind of am. In what many ways. But if I was a pug dog. And my eyes were popping out of my head. And I couldn't breathe. And I had kids. I would want them to genetically alter those kids. So that their eyes were normal. And their eyes weren't. And they could breathe. <laughs> this thing's starting to get. But. Uh, <laughs> right. That's what I'd want. For my kids. So they didn't suffer like me. So how these people can get these pug dogs and parade them around. The poor things can't breathe and they're all puffed up and uh, their eyes pop out of their head and quite often they're blind. 
is beyond me. It's cruelty. It is flat out cruelty. And every time I see one, I'm like, it is cruel. That's cruelty. Because I, I couldn't do it, right? I couldn't do it. I, I, I love Chihuahua dogs. Um, they're, they're pretty all right. You know, they have heart condition. That's only because of what we feed them. We, we don't feed our dogs correctly. Yeah, we feed milk. I eat dog food. I got, I'm going to bloody well show you. This, if I didn't have that eel, I'd have to eat this dog food. Right, it's $10 a thing. I'm going to try to hide the brand. There it is, right? The poor little Mousy on the front. Little uh, Maltese Terrier, by the looks, that's what she looks like to me. I, I want one of them because they, they, they've not got many problems. But, right? I would, and I have been eating that. It's not good. Look, I brought two because. Oh, oh. Here, look, see? There's the other one over there. Right? I got this baby because I can carry things and it keeps things dry. Because I've gone through all this before. Now, that food is bullshit. It, it affects my nervous system. Uh, gives me inflammation. There's hardly any meat in it. The protein is from vegetables. This is what the world's becoming. And I don't want to see it happen. We eat meat. Not some fucking vegetarian fucking asshole bullshit compaction. Maybe in the future they may be able to get it right. But the gods had to bring bacteria to this earth to start life. Because it's even too difficult for them. So how in the fuck we're ever going to figure it out, I never know. If they don't know, how do we, we're ever going to fucking know. So fuck off with your vegetarian bullshit and shove it up your ass.